When I started to work, women were not even, you couldn't wear pants to an office or to even into a restaurant. Oh. I mean, you could at McDonald's, but didn't, <laughs> you know. So just want to say that, that when I started out, I was the only non-secretary where, mm -hmm. where I worked. And so, I mean, there has been an enormous change. And, you know, it's sort of, it's, I guess it's like a prisoner getting out of a cell, you know, chink, 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 you know, bit by bit, breaking into certain areas. And I think that there are certain areas that are still very male-dominated, um, in uh, the financial industry and, um, and a lot of programming and, and various things like that. Um, and there are places that are seen to be sort of girl stuff. You know, non you, you could look at the lower paying <laughs> job publishing that, that you might find, you begin to find more women. Um, and I think that this leads back to sort of a hobby horse of mine, because most of my career has been spent in education, education technology, and I don't mean at the graduate level, is you've got to get more women starting in fourth grade, more interested in science, math, technology. In fourth grade, there is, that's when there is a sort of just a dip. You know, until fourth grade, girls and boys are not only exactly the same, girls would be better than boys, generally, in, in everything in school, um, except, you know, just being disruptive. Uh, and, and that's an important thing to tell you, because girls are very good at following the directions, and they're very good. And then somewhere around fractions and the seven and eight tables, girls start going off in math. And uh, we do have to just start really thinking about the pipeline. If any entrepreneurs out there, we, we need education to, to, to get more people in, in the pipeline uh, who, who can deal with, um, you know, who are interested in math and interested in programming, interested in those areas that are more male dominated. I'm just... Yeah. I'm well, I mean, so speaking of education and people who are, are not risk averse, um, I'd love Doyen to talk because she's had education in both or many countries where in China mm -hmm. the math and sciences are particularly mm -hmm. strong mm -hmm. and she works for a startup and takes all kinds of risks mm -hmm. every day, you know, and probably I think Sino, Sinotech is facing some funding creativity phase. <laughs> so, <laughs> so maybe you could tell, talk and then I'd love to bring it to Cindy and then Melissa on how you basically build uh, failing up into your startups. Um, Sanotech, right now we're a digital agency um, full suite of uh, uh, integrated solutions for, for multinational companies. But we started out as a technology company because uh, we looked around the market and we realized that there's no Chinese version of the Google Analytics. There's not a Chinese version of the ad serving platform. Um, so we gathered together a group of um, programmers to do that. Uh, it's, it's basically a Chinese version of uh, GA but with more powerful our idea was to sell that technology because we think there's enough r room opportunity in the market to do that. After a while, this is particular to the Chinese market, as you know, Chinese is a market of copycats. If you have a good idea, if they think there's the opportunities, people are just rushing to do that. And um, not only that, the Chinese is a market where once they've learned not to pay for something, they will never again. So you have the Google Analytics educating the market that you don't pay for something like this. You try to come up with a better solution, they still won't pay for it. They say, I get it free yesterday. Why should I pay for today? So that didn't work. So we eventually sort of cut our losses, got rid of all my programmers. I almost cried over that because that was, they, were, they were my brothers and sisters for, for a while. And uh, say, where we, where we go from now on? Um, then sort of gathered up the strength to look around saying, okay, maybe that didn't work. Going to the market directly didn't work. Let's work with agencies, the, the OGVs, the, the OMD of the world will need us. They will need us to, to provide this kind of solution. They will need us to, to provide the know-how about digital, techno di digital um, marketing. So we did that very diligently for another six months. That didn't work as well because the agencies were facing very difficult times themselves. Um, they didn't make the very good transition from print, from the traditional world to the digital world. They will use people like us to do very beautiful deck, win the pitches, and when they win, they give it to themselves, their own team to do it. And when they don't win, they won't even look at us. So another six months of busy work, of extremely long hours of looking at briefings from multinational companies, from these big brands, doing the pre presentation for the big agencies, only realized that we're the backstop, the sweatshop for them.
Just to put everything, uh, all our painful experience into a really quick summary, now we've um, sort of spotted the next thing to do. I'm not saying it's going to be a winner, but now we're passionate about it. You mentioned earlier about demands being measured. This is what we spot out in the Chinese market, that the t consumers are heavy dutyly blogging, and, and when they make a purchase decision, it's all about how what other people say, their friends, their families, online and they make their personal decision like that. So that gave us the idea to monitor that to a T, to understand what everybody's saying on the BBS, on the forums, on the microbloggings about a certain product, about a brand, so that the, the, the brand itself are aware of it. And then um, we have a natural language processing to tell whether they're talking about good things or bad things about it, and still distill that into very powerful sort of messages to the company, say, look, you know, this is what you can from your learning from your consumer. You can make quick adjustment to your product. You can get a winner out there very quick. So that's what we're focusing on. Hopefully that's going to be the next winner.